Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you have set your time machine correctly, you have a chance to help create one of the most amazing albums in video game history. In this video, I will walk you through all the details surrounding the 8-bit Time Paradox crowdfunding campaign. First of all, let's talk about the album's contents. In 2014, I had an idea for a music album. I wanted to bring modern game music back in time and make it sound as if these games had come out in the 80s. The album was released internationally after a successful crowdfunding campaign. Over the following months, I knew that in order to further explore the concepts of game music and time travel, I had to overcome two obstacles. One, chiptune music, aka 8-bit style music, can soon become tiring for the years, especially to those who aren't into video games. And two, a one-man album is hardly as charming as a multi-artist collaboration. And that is why I searched YouTube for the most talented musicians and bands specialized in covering game music. And I have found seven of the best. Each one of us is reimagining a famous game tune as if it was drawn in a temporal anomaly. In addition to the eight cover songs, we are all performing together for the very first time in an amazing original bonus track. Let's talk a little bit about team members individually. That's my ride. Beam me up. Whoa, that was a close one. Track one, we feature the beautiful harp of Samantha Ballard from Canada. In track two, you'll hear our talented pianist, Selma Scheidegger from New York. Harry Murrell from the UK will take the lead in track three. His weapon of choice, classical guitar. From Brooklyn, Greg Attilo and his incredible flute beatboxing technique and Eric Stephenson on the cello will blow your mind in track four. Track five will feature the very talented Mine Mine from Japan with their cool acoustic jazz. From Russia, the epic a cappella ensemble Live Voices will be featured in track six. Carbohydro music comes from France. His metal arrangements are pure dynamite. And you'll hear them in track 7. I will create the final cover song in track 8, as well as compose the original bonus track, the one where we're all performing together. My name is Giovanni Rotondo, and I am a film and game composer from Italy. As you can see, our team is made of talented people coming from all over the world, and this is just one of the things that makes our album so unique. Now you can help making it even more unique. Critical damage. Please return to base. Let's get to a more comfortable place, and I'll tell you more about this. Engage autopilot. The crowdfunding campaign will impact the album in three ways mainly. It will function as a pre-sale, giving the 8-bit time paradox a healthy boost at launch. It will allow to cover the costs of licensing and distribution. And, my favorite, it will add value to the album. In fact, with your help, you can make a tangible impact on the final product. I am very excited to announce that if the main goal is reached, the original bonus track will feature the recording of a full symphonic orchestra. Beyond that, there are exciting stretch goals ready to be unveiled, so make sure you check the campaign page often. There you will also find info about the actual track list of the album and new fantastic rewards added regularly, some of them specifically designed for the die-hard fans of the artists on board. The album will be released in time for Christmas and you'll be happy to know that to sweeten the wait, with every reward, you will receive one of the album's tracks right away. When registering to our crowdfunding provider, please make sure you use an email address that you check frequently to ensure a smooth delivery of your goodies. 
What are you waiting for? Help the 8-bit time paradox become a timeless legend. Thank you for listening. 